Well, hi, I'm Cody Sandal, pastor at the First Presbyterian Church of Littleton, and I just wanted to share this short devotional for Ash Wednesday with you. The text is from the Old Testament prophet of Joel, from chapter 2. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near. A day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like blackness spread upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will be again after them in ages to come. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and he relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast, let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples, Where is their God? Well, as we begin the season of Lent, we are, in the words of Joel, you know, rending our hearts. And the goal of Lent is to prepare our hearts and souls. And, and while we, we know about the joy of Easter at the end of the season, I think it's also useful for our hearts to focus on the cross. Because, you know, I God looked down on the earth and saw our lives and thought two really big things. First, God apparently thought our lives were so seriously messed up, so seriously separated from his design for us that someone had to die. And that's not a small problem, right? If someone has to die, it's a big deal. And second, God apparently thought, I love them enough, messed up as they are, to send my son to die in their place. I have family in Texas, and you know, the, as I'm recording this, you know, their power is out, and people all across Texas have their power out, and houses are getting really cold. And, and my, my family have shared that some of their neighbors you know, have had a hard time accepting help. Even with their power and their heat off during this, you know, this freezing winter storm down there, many of us have a hard time accepting help because we like to be the helper, the one helping, not the helpy, the one receiving help, right? It's hard to be the one receiving help. So preparing our hearts for Jesus on the cross, not just Easter, but, but Jesus on the cross, preparing our hearts for that means it means rending our hearts, Joel says, because we have to admit how deeply we need to be saved by someone else. That is not easy to admit for any of us. But it's also why we have a whole church season to get ready. You don't have to do this in one day. So I encourage you over the season of Lent to prepare your hearts to admit your own need, to prepare your heart to accept someone else's help, in fact, to accept Jesus's help, because your need and my need is so intense, someone has to die. But Jesus says, he'll take that instead of you and me. It's hard to accept. But that's the gospel truth. Amen.